Alright, alright people, welcome back to another video, what is up everyone, this just in, hot off the press, the title reads on a Kotaku news gaming article, Rockstar North boss Leslie Benzies is out after nearly two decades, and you guys as GTA fans are probably panicking, what the hell is going on, is GTA gonna be going to shit, is GTA 6 ever gonna come out, are we gonna be getting a single player DLC for GTA, does this in any way link to Red Dead Redemption, which I think is the most likely connection or something that this could possibly affect in a way, and that's something that we're gonna be talking about in this video as I break down the article. Rockstar confirmed to Kotaku today the man in charge of the regional studio, long credited with handling the bulk of development of Grand Theft Auto games, is no longer at the company. Rockstar Games actually said that the Rockstar North studio head Leslie Benzies has been on a sabbatical for the past 17 months, which I believe to my understanding is like a paid leave. Rockstar North had a less centric role in the past decade as other regional Rockstar Studios have credited with sharing the work of the company's major games. So basically, Rockstar North didn't have a massive influence in shaping, creating, and doing a bunch of work regarding Grand Theft Auto V. As you guys may know, they have studios in other places doing amazing things. So for anyone wondering, is this going to affect, you know, whether or not GTA 6 is still going to be a massive game? Losing a head director in many cases, as you guys have probably seen in other franchises, has been critical. And for the fans, has been a major loss because someone who's been with the company for so long that has such a great vision for them to just up and out and leave out of the blue. Which isn't really the case because uh, apparently according to Rockstar Games, Leslie Benzies has been on uh, paid leave for the past 17 months, which was like a rumor for the longest time but they confirmed it today that he has officially gone and left so really if you guys are wondering this won't have a massive effect on gta 6 grand theft auto online gta 5 or any up and coming dlcs however the kotaku article did manage to mention benzies's large team in the scotland based rockstar north had been seen as major players for the past two decades in the creation of numerous rockstar hits over the years including GTA releases and quite interestingly Manhunt as well as Red Dead Redemption which I know a lot of keen fans are waiting for a sequel for and yes people like to get technical and say well technically it's not going to be Red Dead 2 it's going to be Red Dead 3 and stuff and honestly I don't give a shit you can call it whatever you want all I know is I want another one another one as recently in 2014 Benzies was named along with the Rockstar co-founders Sam and Dan Hauser as an entrant into an Academy of Art Sciences Hall of Fame. And you guys should see some footage in the background of when Rockstar Games were awarded the Academy Fellowship at the BAFTA Games Awards 2014. Leslie Benzies is the dude at the left who I believe, according to GTA 5 o'clock back in the day, this is back in 2013 if I remember, sounds and by the looks of it, looks similar to Desmond Hume from Lust, which is pretty cool and funny of course because he is Scottish. You've got five seconds to talk. Why well, fire this gun, brother? Well, good luck, brother. Now, to my understanding, from what I've read from this article, who the author, Patrick, has done a great job, thank you for updating the GTA community, Leslie Benzies worked for over two decades on some great rock star and GTA titles, and he's just been chilling, sipping pina coladas on a paid leave, of course, for like the longest time, since September the 1st, 2014. And to be honest, who wouldn't, with the success of Grand Theft Auto V and GTA Vice City, GTA Liberty City, GTA Liberty City Stories, GTA 4, GTA 5, GTA this, GTA that, and as well as all the other games that Rockstar have made, he worked on every single Rockstar title that was released since 1999. And also confirmly say and claimed the prize to being one of the main guys behind every single Grand Theft Auto since GTA 3. This dude's had like one of the greatest runs from what I've read and what I've researched before making this video when it comes to helping make and create and being a studio head of a massive billion dollar freaking gaming company. I don't think that the vision will be phased in any way with Rockstar Games when it comes to, you know, creating brand new games, new IPs, which of course we've heard are in the making. Rockstar Games is headquartered in New York and have studios around the world, including Rockstar San Diego. And when they actually went to collect this award during the BAFTA Game Awards or whatever in 2014, it wasn't just the few individuals that went up and got the award itself. 
They were given the award to 900 plus other people, a great development team and an amazing company in general. So for anyone who's having any worries or seen or has seen something crazy happen in the past when a studio head leaves or someone new comes in and just fucks shit up, I highly doubt this is going to be happening. If anything, I just want to congratulate Leslie Benzies. And to finish off, for those of you guys who are wondering, Rockstar North is now led by longtime Rockstar veterans Aaron Garber and Rob Nelson, both of whom have been credited as art directors on major company releases and have been part of Rockstar's inner circle for many years. That sounds like some Illuminati shit. Just to crack you up and tell you guys a quick joke, Cassie Bear in the comments of this Kotaku article actually said that his severance package is going to be $8 trillion in GTA shark cards. I thought that was pretty funny and and you know what if I was him a severance package of eight trillion dollars would be pretty rewarding even in GTA shark cards. But yeah I'm hoping everyone who watched this also my subscribers if you're not already subscribed what are you doing with your life click that red juicy big subscribe button right now. Hoping that you guys are fans of Rockstar Games and what they've done so far. But this is the start of a new chapter officially as we know right now. Thank you so much for watching. Before you do leave, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on the video. As DJ Khaled said, leaving a like is major key, boys. This is the key to success in life, in everything. Major freaking key. That, as well as cocoa butter, and as well as watering your plants, and don't forget about the liar! Anyway, enough memes and freaking funny quotes. It's been your boy DJ Ted, and I'm out.